even though the PlayStation 4 detected the keyboard, in game it doesn't work. All right, so now that I showed you guys the problem using the game Fortnite, you see that the keyboard doesn't work. I'm gonna show you guys how to get your HyperX Alloy Elite RGB keyboard to work on the PlayStation 4. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to update the firmware on your HyperX Alloy Elite RGB keyboard. And here we go. You're gonna to wanna to go to this website that I'm gonna have down in the description. So you can go ahead and download the firmware from there. And there it is right in the URL. And I'm gonna go ahead and press enter. So here you see the details and you wanna make sure that this is indeed your keyboard. Once you verify that, as you can see here, it improves compatibility for PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. The one we're concerned about is PlayStation 4, but if you're at Xbox One, this might help you as well. And you should be running this firmware updater on Windows 10 as it is designed to be run on that. So go ahead and click on download firmware here. And then go ahead and click save. Once it's finished downloading, go ahead and click open. And then we're gonna go ahead and click extract here and then extract all. And once you get to this window, go ahead and click extract. You should then see the firmware updater with a little red icon here. Go ahead and double click on that executable. Now if Windows 10 gives you a warning message about if you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device, go ahead and click yes. All right, so now you should see the firmware updater window. You should see the current version of your keyboard firmware. And then you're gonna see the firmware that it's gonna update to. So go ahead and click on the update button right here. Make sure you don't unplug the keyboard during this process, it's very important. Now it may take some time to complete, so be patient. And again, don't unplug your keyboard while this is going on. All right, and once it's done, you should see this window that says successfully updated. You should hear a sound that's gonna indicate your, your keyboard is being disconnected and reconnected. Also, the lights on your keyboard will momentarily turn off and then they will turn on again once the update is completed. Now that we're done updating the firmware, you're gonna go ahead and click OK. Okay, now we've updated your HyperX Alloy Elite RGB keyboard to the 2119 firmware update. And this is the firmware that's gonna allow your keyboard to work on the PlayStation 4. Okay, now let's switch over to the PS4 and test out if this firmware update fixed our issue with this keyboard not working on the PlayStation 4. Right, so just another quick reminder that you only have to connect the USB cable that has the white insert on it, the one with the black insert you don't need. So just connect the one with the white insert into your PlayStation 4. All right, so I already have my mouse connected. I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my HyperX Alloy Elite RGB keyboard to my PlayStation 4 now. So you can see a message on the PS4 stating that a keyboard is connected and it wants to know who is using this device. So go ahead and just press the X button on your controller. All right, so at this point, you're gonna to wanna to set your controller down and you're gonna start using your keyboard and mouse.